Tonight I'm going to do a little comparison between a couple of different lead removing polishing cloths. I've never actually used the Birchwood Casey before. I just got the Hoppies Quick Clean. This one right here. Multi-purpose cleaning cloth for rifles, shotguns, blah blah blah. Rust and lead remover. I got this last week. I did take it out of the package and this cloth virtually feels like it has nothing on it. It just It's like a dry cloth. This one here I just got in the mail yesterday and this one actually has a little bit of an odor coming out of it and uh, this will be my first time opening this one up. Be careful here. There we go. Take this out. It's actually wrapped inside of the hmm. other piece of plastic of some kind here. I'll tell you the hoppies, like I say, I did take it out. I did try it on the gun and that thing didn't work worth a crud. It did not feel like that it did anything. I'm gonna have to pull this out. May have to cut this open. Hopefully that's what I'm supposed to do. Cut that open. Pull this out of here. Okay. Man, this thing here almost feels like a chamois. It feels like uh, it actually has something in it. Whereas the, the hoppies, like I say, is virtually feels just like a dry cloth. Okay. The price point on these two was about two dollars difference. The hoppies was around a dollar and a half to two dollars cheaper than the Birchwood Casey. This almost feels like a uh, microfiber cloth. That's what it reminds me of, is this one here. You can see right there where I attempted to do a little bit of rubbing. I have a couple of good candidates here to test these on. This is my 649, no. Yeah, 649, and you can see those rings on here on the cylinder on the front. I think those rings have been there for quite some time. Okay, um, I'm going to try the hoppies first and then go to the Birchwood Casey. I find a good way to hold this. They say just to uh, take it and rub it. There's where I did on on another one. I'm just gonna put my finger in here, put this out, and let's see how well, whoops, wrong way, dummy. This thing takes these marks off, if at all. You can see I rub and there's virtually nothing coming off of this. Now this stuff has been on here for quite some time. Previous videos, or yeah, I mean this gun here was made in 1989. I am not the original owner of it. But you can see those rings are still pretty much there up here on this flat surface. 
let me try this. This one, this one here, boy, it almost feels like it's it's double thick. Almost feels like I need to unfold that one more time. But then again, not knowing, because I've never had one of these before, maybe that's just how it feels all the time. So, same thing. Finger on here. Hold this out. You see that right there? Just that little bit of rubbing right there took that off. Man. No comparison. Absolutely none. This here, don't waste your money. Okay, this Birchwood Casey cloth was $8 and something through Amazon. The Hoppies cloth here was like six something. So, I mean, my goodness. Night and day difference. Night and day. I'm going to scrub on this a little bit. Then I'll come back and show you a couple of it, or show you this whenever I've got her scrubbed up. I'll be back. All right. I literally have been scrubbing on this gun, this cylinder, for right at 10 minutes. You can see that that cloth took those black carbon rings or whatever off. I was scrubbing in here trying to get as close to this as I could because there's some goop right there against that edge, but can't really get in there with my fat fingers. But you can see any of you guys that have revolvers and you've tried to clean this stuff off before. Right here's the wife's 32. I'll tell you, these little cylinders are a little tougher to do than a big one, too. Because everything is so much closer. But uh, this cloth definitely has something impregnated in it, obviously. Because whenever you start scrubbing this off, it leaves like a... Uh, liquid residue or something on it you can see I'm just kinda just wiping across that this stuff here I don't think it's gonna be quite as tight but you can see see what it looks like up here to down here just by wiping that cloth just right across it. Not a lot of elbow crease is required. It just it just takes it off. Wow, I cannot believe. Yeah, it's, uh, boy, it's nice. Very nice. So anyway, you all get the picture. Um, the Birchwood Casey. Lead remover and polishing cloth. I tell you, I couldn't find these anywhere around here, around my town. Couldn't find them anywhere. So uh, I had to go online to order them, which is what I did. 
and uh, hell, I never didn't have no experience with either one of them. So I thought, well, let me try the Hoppies and the, the Birchwood Casey. Well, like I say, I hate to say it, you know, Hoppies has been around a long time, but this this cloth here literally is like a dry uh, microfiber or something. This one here feels like a real thick paper towel, and it definitely has something impregnated into it. No doubt about that. So anyway, guys, enough chit-chat. <coughs> You can shoot revolvers, you have trouble getting that stuff off the front of your cylinder, or, you know, it's not just that. This thing can be used for all kinds of stuff. There you go. Trying to see what it says about it here. Discoloration will not reduce efficiency. Flammable. Don't smoke. Alright guys, that's it. Highly, highly, highly recommended right there. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see ya.